keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like yo. Good, my nephews and nieces. This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. Right? Today we're going to be looking at the season five best stretch build. Now, again, before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Liking up the video will push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribing will put you in the game for my daily double upload. But now, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay? So, again, making a popper build, you can go power forward or center, does not matter at all. It's not going to change anything. Also, it doesn't matter what hand you are. I decide going left handed because I'm left handed in real life, right? Um, now, what we're going to do here is actually go 6 9. So, again, I want to make something that will be really, really good for the park, but also you can be, again, like a power forward in the wreck. Excuse me. So, again, I want to show some versatility, but again, like I said, most of the time I do make builds for the park. If you really, really, really want to see some really good, like, pro am wreck builds and stuff, then make sure you check out my videos for the program and wreck. I got two videos. I did one video in the beginning of this year, and I did an updated video not too long ago, okay? So you can just search that up. It's looking, type in Uncle Demi, best pro am or wreck builds, okay? Um, but yeah, so anyway, 6'9, 219. We want to go seven foot four on the wingspan. Body shape, I go to fine, but you can pick any body shape that you want, all right? Um, and then what we're going to do here is this. We want to go 85 on that close shot. Again, we want to get that fast switch on gold, fearless finisher, and master on gold also. Then we also want to go 70 on the driving layup. That's going to give us a, um, the, the default package. And also, since you are a power forward, you get the dominant big man layup package. So that's really good to have there. And then the driving dunk, we want to go 86 on that driving dunk. But we really want to do it just because we want to get that limitless takeoff on gold. Limitless takeoff on gold is really, really OP along with quick drops. Yes, you are able to get driving dunk also pro contact dunk animations. So that's a plus. But again, as a stretch or a spot up, you're not really worrying about that. But it's also so good to have, okay? Then on our shooting, we want to go 81 on our mid-range, right? That's just going to give us the mini position of Hall of Fame. It's just something I just like to get, all right? Then we want to go 86, all right? So as you see, by going 86, Claymore becomes Hall of Fame, all right? Catch and shoot on gold, limitless on silver, blinders on silver, green machine on gold, Claymore Hall of Fame. Very, very, very OP for a spot-up build, all right? But again, we're not your making your typical spot-up build because since everybody's 6'9 demigod builds, you got to be able to do a little bit of everything because if you don't, you're kind of just like, well, why would I make this build? But you're going to see what makes this build really specialized as a 6'9", um, okay? Go 75 on your free throw for all the pro and rec players <clears throat> if you want to play use of the power forward. You definitely want to go 76 to get that grow break starter. Also, it's just really good to have a 76 pass accuracy because, you know, if you don't have a good pass accuracy, you're not really going to be able to cook up like you want, all right? I'm sorry, go 75, all right? If you're not go 76, go 75. Um... Your power forward, not center. So I don't know why I'm saying 76. You don't need to go that high. All right. Then on your interior defense, go 76 on your interior defense. It's not really that you need to have it that high because you are, again, like I said, if you're in a park, again, you're going to be on a perimeter more. So anyway, because everybody's 6'9 builds. So that's why your perimeter defense, I'm going to have that as a 78. All right. 70 on your perimeter defense. And then we're going to go all the way up to 85 to get that silver glove. You want to be able to always have a decent amount of on ball still because most likely every build you play against in the park are going to have some type of way of dribbling. But again, as you see, you're not able to do that because, again, you're going to specialize more so as a really good spot up and in a Swiss Army knife type of defender, okay? Um, so that means you definitely want to go 93 on your block, right? Going 93 on your block will give you that gold anchor. Again, cannot stress enough how important anchor is. If you can get it on gold, always make it baseline for your gold unless you're like a lockdown. And if you're a lockdown, if you can get it to gold, that's great. But really, your bigs, the people that's going to be the paint, you want to always have anchor on gold, right? Then we want to go 90 on our offensive rebound and then 94 on our defensive. So that 94, the reason why I go 94 is you see, you'll be able to get that box out on Hall of Fame, that's gonna be very important, and you also get your rebound chaser, okay? So again, you're gonna be able to get the rebounds, you're gonna be able to um, play in the paint, get your chase downs, and you'll be able to play on ball and get steals. It's just very versatile type of build. This is not your typical pure green stretch that you that we used to know, right? Um, speed, get that up to an 80, all right? Um, your acceleration, that's with the ball in your hand, so you do not need to touch acceleration. I know somebody in my last video was like, hey, Unc, 
that acceleration kind of scared me. I said, why? You're a seven foot one center. Why do you want to have acceleration? There's a big misconception that people believe acceleration has anything to do with defense. It does not. Acceleration is 100% just if the ball is in your hand. And again, this is only important for ball handlers, okay? Your parameter defense is associated to your lateral quickness. So that means you will have a 78 lateral quickness with this build and an 80 speed. That's all you need with a lockdown or a defender or any type of versatile um, defensive stopper that you're trying to make. Then on your strength, you gotta go 86 on your strength because you wanna make sure you can get brick wall on at least gold. If you're gonna be set any type of screens, you wanna at least have gold brick wall. So you're gonna have that 86. And then on your vert, you gotta have a 75 to get those pro contact dunk animations. And then of course your stamina, I like to always keep it at 90. So what you're seeing is 13, 23, eight, and 29. I think this is a really, really solid badge stack. This is a really solid build all around. It's everything that you want from your, if you're a point guard, right, and your ball handler run on the twos, this is the type of spot up you want to have. One that can play defense, one that can get steals, one that can um, hold down the paint, get rebounds. Of course, one that can still pass it back to you with a good zip and then be able to shoot lights out, but also can finish at the basket if need be. Very, very strong build here, okay? Now, I went with spot up precision, of course, but you do get lock take, so perimeter badge drop or extreme clamps can be good ones. And then, of course, you got rim and you have glass. And again, like I said, glass clearing dimes is something if you're trying to do any park correct. But for me, what I will always do is any single time I have an opportunity to get anything to help on a perimeter, I will. I like perimeter badge drop over extreme clamps, but that's really your preference, okay? And then uh, here you have it, my nephews and nieces. Again, like I said, really, really strong build here. The versatility is insane, and the name is actually extremely rare and pretty dope. So just keep that in mind. A three-level scoring glass cleaner is absolutely insane. So I think that's pretty dope. And then what we're going to do now is this. We'll test this build out real quick. We'll go over a couple um, badges and what you need to look at, and then we'll get you out of here. Remember, if you hit level 40 last season, you should have double core. So that's something to keep in mind. If you don't, then you do. You should at least have four badges if you never accomplish anything if you never hit 39 any season, you should at least have four additional badges to work with. But if you hit it um, level 39 every season, you should have six badges, right? So um, fearless finisher um, is one that you want to look at. Obviously, you want to add two additional badges here so you can get your post visor, right? So you want to get your post visor here. You need 16. You only have 13, so you want to add three badges here, okay? So right now, what we're looking at is this limitless and fearless finisher. We do want to get this post visor, so you need to add that. But if you're not going to do that, you definitely want to core your Limitless or your um, Fearless Finisher. You want to get Slithery. You want to get Acrobat. You want to get anything and everything that's going to help you out. So then I would go something like this for Backdoor Lives. But this is what you will want. Of course, you'll want to get your Posterizer, though, okay? So you could add three additional badges there to be able to do that as I just backed out. You ain't worrying about it, but yeah. And then here, you want to get your, mo your most important ones again. That's going to be your Green Machine, um, your Claymore here. So that's what last nine let's just drop one badge point here real quick and then what we're going to do here on what we want is our catch and shoot record that we want our limitless and we want our, our blinders okay after that go ahead and get amped as much as you can but really the badges that you really want is going to be your limitless if you spot up from limitless if you're not spotting up from limitless there's nothing wrong going dead eye and if you don't believe in dead eye then go ahead and get as amped as much as you can volume shooter up as you can because these are badges that you will literally be utilizing a lot okay Again, I will not recommend adding badges there. Again, I will not add, recommend adding badges here either. Just go ahead and get your bell out, get your uh, needle threader, you can core needle threader, and then you can get break starter or dimer. Again, it's really up to you. Floor general, you can do that. Get your break starter. It's flip it around if you want to use this in rec, but this should be good enough. All right, so just to recap, add three badges here and any other badges you can add here or and also double core badges on here too so you can never have enough not have enough um, defensive badges and as you're gonna see here for core rebound chaser a core here here right again double core if you double core you get level 40 last season you can double core brick wall and you can double core po um, rebound chaser or any one of these three and then what that means is that you'll still have 12 badges and be able to utilize all these and then again, now with that being said, now you can come back here and then be able to add Interceptor, get your Workhorse up, get your Menace up. This is very important, don't sleep on Menace. Of course, get your Glove. And then again, you wanna get your, your Box out. So you can go ahead and add that in that mix to be able to get that, all right? So and I, I would recommend getting Box out on Hall of Fame if you're gonna be running this on the twos court against other bigs or whatever, but maybe on bronze, you're happy with that. 
But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the new meta season five stretch build. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with another banger, man. You know, when I say back to another banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.